Hey, what is up guys, your Abby's here, and today in this video, welcome back to another episode of Hidden Agenda. I have my phone plugged into my PS4 right now, mostly because it's about to die, and, um, so yeah, this is part two. Hope you guys enjoying the ser enjoying the series, and, yeah, can't wait. Double that shit up. Oh my god, stop it. Holy hell, how many fucking games are you fucking sponsored by, dude? My dude. It's gonna fuck me over. Oh, okay. I can. Oh, you can change your name. I never knew that. Somebody did this shit on a button phone, I swear to God. <laughs> Somebody out there has a button phone and they're doing it. Somehow, some way, they figured it out. Hold on, guys. I feel retarded for saying that. Somewhere, somehow, some way, there had to have been someone who's using their motherfucking button. 43 hours until Finn's execution. I honestly think he's innocent. Sounds like a load of fresh horse manure. Case is airtight. We caught him in the act, for Christ's sake. You want to tell me why, exactly, we should be listening to that scumbag? I'm sorry to spring this on you. We all want the same thing. A man is about to be put to death, and we need to make sure he deserves it. Oh, Jonathan Finn deserves it. Of that, I am sure. Who exactly was Adam Jones? Did he come up at all during the investigation? Uh-huh. There was an Adam Jones at the orphanage. But you know what? Sorry fucker was killed in the fire that shut the place down. So the story kind of ends there. Finn's got impeccable timing. You don't think he's full of it? I think... I think there's something there. I just want to put this thing to rest before Finn's put to rest. Finn tells me Rominski had a secret room at the orphanage, called it the playroom. It's where he held his extracurricular activities. Does that sound familiar? No, I'd remember something like that. That didn't come out in the report. I was wondering, uh, Mr. Hillary, so when you analyzed the bodies of the Trapper's victims, did you find anything that might suggest there could be another suspect? <coughs> that was five years ago. I, I don't think so. So no reason to suspect anyone but Finn? I do recall only, you know, submitting a partial analysis of the evidence because Mr. Finn confessed, so it seemed open and shut. So there was more evidence left to analyze? Well, yeah, trace signatures. Do you have access to all that data? Now just hold on a goddamn second. This case is closed. Finn had motive. He went through hell at Las Palmas. He hated the police. We even found his hair at another crime scene. The RV park, right? That was the social worker. And uh, Detective Marnie, would you mind walking me through that night again? I'll walk you through it in two words. Missed opportunity. Could have had Finn in handcuffs right then and there. Jesus Christ, this dude's a douchebag. I think I'd like to hear from Detective Marnie, if you don't mind. Uh, sure. Catherine Hope was a social worker at Las Palmas Orphanage. We didn't know Finn had her. We got a 10-8 at Hog Haven Trailer Park out by the highway. A break-in in progress. I was closest to the scene, so I went solo. Should have been a piece of cake, but 
That night, everyone was on pins and needles because the trapper was raising Cain. And any one of us could have been next. Oh, shit. This is suspect as hell. A fucking RV park. Suspect as fuck. Uh, I'm not entering that scary ass thing. You got me fucked up. That motherfucker is still in there. You got me hell no. To the no no no. Hell to the no. That dog sees something. Why the fuck aren't you investigating? This is 609 on the CFBIP. Open exit on the highway. No perp. Gonna make an entry to the trailer. 609 acknowledged. Caution advised. Search for the clue shown at the top of the screen. Use your pointer to highlight the clues before the timer runs out. Some of these clues could help you in the future, so try to find them all. Alright guys, so I got that, um, couldn't really find it up until then. Uh huh. Oh yeah, he's definitely in there. Shit. Hands up, motherfucker. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. Hands up, motherfucker. Oh, shit. That's a little kid. And there's a bomb in there. Oh, wait. Oh shit, okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, 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 okay. Just Who's Catherine? Who did this to you? I... I was in the bar. I... I don't know. I woke up here. Oh god. Please, help me. Please. What's happening? Oh shit. Um... Okay, I'm get, get gonna the... remove the timer. Grab the wire cutters. Grab them. Fuck, 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 fuck. I wouldn't really care. Because we just saved a girl's life. We could have just let her die. Well, at least we only had one casualty that night. Not that it did a lot of good. Social worker was killed in a head and run a few weeks later. It wasn't the kind of thing I'm eager to repeat. Ben must have seen you coming. Got out before finishing the job. Yeah, split so quick he left his gear behind. How did Finn get away? I tried to lock down the perimeter, but Finn was long gone by the time backup arrived. So how did you link Finn to the scene? 
I discovered that Mr. Finn had left a hair at the scene. We ran the DNA through our criminal database, and he came up as the match. He was already in the system. Finn had been in and out of the station so many times, he practically had a door with his name on it. When we got the tip uh, that he'd been spotted at a squat, he just happened to be driving by. Shit just seems to fall in your lap, detective. At least I caught him, dick. Uh-oh. Mama Bear's got a temper. Watch out. Fucking hate that guy. I'm sorry, detective, but your attitude is not helping. I'm sorry. Last I checked, this was my case. And I got my guy convicted. Who the fuck are you to question my competency? I'm a district attorney. Are you finished? The hmm. Trapper case shook everyone up. I think we've poured enough salt in all our own wounds for one night. Sergeant. I think that about covers it. Anything else we can help you with? Do you have Adam Jones's forensics records on file? Well, not from his death. Were there samples taken when he was placed in the orphanage? Yes, most likely. Would it be possible to pull those records and run them against evidence found at the Trapper's crime scene? Are you shitting me? You're wasting the time of this entire division, you understand? I got a better idea. We let that psycho die on the table. Calvary, stop. We'll have Mr. Hillary look into it. Let's know if we find anything. Thank you. Phone about to die, phone about to die, phone, 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 phone about to die. This game is so fucking good. Hey, Graves. Yeah? I just wanted to say that Calvary's a dick. Yeah. Don't worry about it. You were really helpful. Oh, hey, what are you doing tonight? I... What? I've got a huge stack of files at my apartment. Not gonna be able to get through it on my own. Uh... You know, I think I'll take a pass. We'll, uh, we'll let you know if anything comes up. Fair enough. Have a good one. You fucking joking? A rat trap. Target number one, Rupert Walsh, local undertaker, drunk, no apparent connection to Las Palmas Orphanage. After the murder, the trapper rigged a shotgun to the motel door and the first responding officer was killed. Second target, Frederick LeMay, orderly at Las Palmas, drug charges, assaults, but no convictions. Trapper left his body in a pitch black room and filled the light fixture with C4. First responding officer flipped the switch and sayonara. Third target, Father Rominski. The trapper had sewn explosives inside his body wired to blow if he moved a muscle. Left him sitting in a prayer position and he was forced to confess his sins, namely the abuse he and his cronies conducted at the orphanage. The first responder was Huh. It was Sergeant Teller. A theory. While the first target had no apparent connection to Las Palmas, all the responding officers were from the third precinct, including Detective Marnie. Were the initial victims just a smokescreen? And the real targets, the third precinct police? Why would he target them? Contacts. Who would you like to call? Sergeant Riggs. Calling Sergeant Riggs. Hello? Hi, it's Miss Graves. Sorry for calling so late. It's no problem. Can I help you with something? I've been going over the Trapper case files, and I think I'm starting to see a new angle. Yeah? How so? Well, this is very loose, and maybe I'm just barking up the wrong tree here, but what if the initial targets weren't the real targets after all? And every one of the responders was an officer in the third precinct. Well, it's true that all the responding officers are from the same precinct, but that's just because that's where the murders occurred. Of course, I suppose that could be on purpose. Well, aside from all being from the same precinct, is there anything else to connect the cops? Well, uh, back then the third precinct didn't exactly have a stellar reputation. A lot of those guys were into drugs. And now? Now everyone's eager to put it behind them. Things got much better. Actually, pretty soon after the trapper killings. Um... Did 
Detective Marnie was part of the third precinct before she transferred to your district. Was she involved in the corruption? I didn't know her then, but as uh, far as I can tell, she's a solid cop. All right, well, thank you so much, Sergeant Riggs. I don't. I like Marnie though. <laughs> I don't want her Another to be note, corrupt. Chopper was Detective Calvary's case, yet Marnie arrested Finn. Something about the tension today between Calvary and Marnie feels like it runs deeper than they were letting on. Something seems fishy. Probably your legs being open, bitch. Sterling, if you were wondering what that last bit was, this girl just said something seems fishy. I said probably your legs being open. So yeah, yeah fuck off. I know you're saying something over there. This is one two five. Even though you 10, have your 16, mic muted. Make an entry. One two five acknowledged. Sterling. Oh okay. <laughs> yep, I still am. <sighs> Could you? <laughs> this is the police. Anyone here? This fucking idiot. Oh, you're just gonna be like, this is the police. Shut your dumb ass up, boy. You know damn well you about to die right here. <laughs> Agenda. Research. Becky refused. After fall, city refused. Files on her own. The fuck? Oh dear God. Sir, can you hear me? This is what I fucking tell you. I knew the motherfucker was gonna die. I didn't even have a chance to fucking say anything. Hey, what's going on? We got a problem. What? If there's a cop. What? What happened? I was just trying to put that together. The call came in, there was a body. Responder showed up, body was rigged. Trap was down. Oh. My. There is no way. You don't mean that. Yeah. No. No, somebody has made a mistake. There's no way. I don't think so. Let me see. Stop. Don't let go of me. Becky, stop. It's Calvary. What? Before you go in, you need to know that the victim is Calvary. Oh, my God. No. Excuse me, would you Are please you stay clear of my working area? Thank you. From what we could piece together, it seems like Calvary brought a prostitute. God. Brought it back What's here. What's up, Joey? You know. Oh, oh right. Came by right after you left last 20s, night. Yes. Brunette. Great. Calvary put a whole clip in that wall and didn't hit one thing. The only blood here is his. And bumps of Montesinos. The responder? Calvary's body was rigged. Traps. <gasps> Fuck. Sure, it was on. Joey, are you here? Yes. Uh, I just got home from my dad's. Me and my dad uh, went down to uh, Tip City. That's a whole clip. Me and my dad and my uncle went Someone down to Tip City, and I played highway. against the um, Why would he fire like grown-ups and stuff. And if they did it from and uh, they said I was pretty good. I scored like 11 points both games. The freak! It says copying update oh file for Fortnite. It's really him. Okay. Anything? Nothing useful. Becky, I'm 
I'm sorry, but I have to ask you this. Where were you last night? Where do you want to play, Joey? Hold on. Do you really think I could do something like this? Listen to yourself! I'm not accusing you. Oh no, but it's the first thing that pops up in there. You can't blow up. You know what this looks like. Be smart! You are unbelievable. I'm trying to help you. No, you know what? You can go fuck yourself, Tom. Joey, we were the first ones to find that secret underground bunker. A fucking double explosion? Are you fucking joking? What are you playing? That's the end of part one. Check the logbook. Fix yourself a drink. Oh my god. When you're ready to move on. Ooh. Plot. Becky recalled how she helped catch the trapper. Felicity continued her discussion with the police. Later that night, Felicity exclaimed the trapper case files. Officer Monty Singles responded to a break in progress. Becky was summoned to the scene of a recent murder. Biographies. Jack Calvary. Cavalry was murdered while in the company of an unidentified prostitute. Are you playing hidden? Are you playing hidden agenda? Yes, the murder fitted the M.O. of the trapper serial killer. Okay, Officer Monte Monte was gravely injured by a trap planted on Jack Calvary's Jack body. Jack Calvary's body. Simon Hillary. Simon Hillary. Roman Fixture Mike. Roman Fixture Mike. Okay. Simon is it was almost now? killed by a trap rigged to Jack Calvary's body. Yes, it is. He became suspicious of Becky following Jack Calvary's murder. A prostitute. A prostitute was with Jack Calvary on the night she was murdered. How could she be involved somehow? Ripple events. Spy cam. Becky disturbed a hidden camera at the crime scene. Uh, alibi. Becky didn't provide an alibi for the night of Calvary's murder. I fucked up. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video.